Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you something that I found. So, this is a line or a script of code that I found in another project by a user, or in a video, by a user named FunNut. He's a really popular YouTuber. If you haven't checked him out, I'll put him in the description. He's been inactive for a couple days, but he's a really good guy. Um, so yeah, I found this script, and I decided to, you know, take it so I could explain to you guys how, or what this thing does, and how it works. So basically, if I, when I start the project, it immediately goes to my mouse. Now, if I, but if I were to, you know, spaz out, you'll see it has this blur effect to make it look like it's going really fast. Here's the thing. If I were to take this out and then go to motion, get the go to mouse pointer block and do it forever, that's not the case. It doesn't look like it's going fast. In fact, it looks like it's going pretty laggy across the entire screen. Now, how does this work? You're probably looking at all of this and saying, that's pretty confusing. So, the way it works is what it does is it erases all, it goes to mouse pointer, and it moves steps. For those who don't know, changing X by 10 and moving steps by 10 is, moving steps is, no matter what, it'll always be a percent faster than change X. If I were to bring the sprite to the middle of the screen, and if I were to change it by X forever, it goes pretty quick, people will say. Now let's bring this with the move steps. Notice how it'll move backwards. Now, first off, steps will always be faster. I just want to mention that. If you were to move 10 steps, it'll be faster than change X. Um, I don't know why, it's just like that Scratch program did like this. Steps will always move in the direction of the sprite. Since it's negative 90, we can go to the little direction panel right here. Notice that the arrow is turning left. Some common things you need to know if you want to start Scratch is that negative 90 is pointing left, 180 is pointing down, or 90 is pointing right, and 0 is pointing up. So remember that, negative 90, 90, 180, 0. So remember that. Um, to make this more, um, you know, to make this easier for some people, I'll be drawing a little plus sign on the square, so that way you remember 90, negative 90, 180, 0. Remember that. Um, but yeah, what it does is it points towards the mouse pointer and it moves steps. It'll set its speed to the distance of the mouse. Distance is basically there is a circle in it. Here, if I were to explain this in a quick way, like I did in my last video, Think of the distance block as a, a hidden circle that no one can see, you can't drag, you can't mess with at all. It's in every sprite. And so, if I were to make the, this square, if I were to make the square say the distance from his my mouse pointer to him, um, and let's deactivate, <laughs> let's deactivate the uh, graphics real quick. We'll set his X position to zero, and his Y position to zero, so he's going to to the middle of the screen. Notice how the closer I get to it, the lower the number is. That's basically calculating the amount of pixels that I am closest to the object. But notice how when I touch the object, I'm clearly touching the, uh, the plus sign and it still has a big number. That is because if we were to go to the costume, notice how if I were to erase this part, there's a little sign in the middle right here. This comes with every costume that you make. It's basically to um, to move the sprite in the middle of the screen. That it'll immediately click to. So it's basically calculating the distance from each sprite, but then the sprite is calculating um, the distance from whatever you set it to, to the little plus sign in the middle. So once I go close to it, then it gets to a low number, like three or four. Yeah, that's the closest I can get to, three. But I'm certain that you can go lower than that if you try. But yeah, that's how distance works. So what it's doing is it sets itself to, it sets the speed variable to the distance of the mouse times 0 0.04, which is basically kind of like with friction where you would set the variable to 0 0.7, where it would slowly decrease over time. It basically does the same thing, but at a slower amount. Um, then it sets itself, it goes to 0, 
Ghost is basically, um, if I were to set the character's ghost to 50, for example, let's do that, it starts to become a, a whiter. That's basically, ghost in Scratch is technically transparency. So if I were to put another object on top of it, if I were to just bring this one, notice how it looks like this guy's kind of like a, well, a ghost, like it's called. So that's how uh, ghost effect is used. It's basically transparency for Scratch. But, yeah. Um, so what it'll do is it'll set itself to 100. And it'll repeat 10 times, move towards the move towards the mouse in this case. And it'll stamp itself. When it's changing its ghost to negative 2, all the stamps are basically copying it. Um, to explain this in a better way, basically... Since the setup still to 100, it's basically completely invisible. It's still there, it's not hidden, but you can't see it physically, or m without your eyes, really, really. But yeah, you can't see it if its ghost is 100, and what it's doing is it's... Um, if I were to show you, actually, because this is pretty confusing, if I were to do this, and then if I were to stop it with my touch screen, there you go. It immediately went to my mouse pointer position, but notice this pattern. Basically, since it's set to 100, it'll slowly and gradually go to the middle right here, where it slowly reveals itself, but then hides itself with the ghost effect back again. This is so that um, it creates a blur effect. It's not actually doing it, but since our eyes conceives it as a blur, it makes it look like this thing is actually going like at hyperspeed to get to the mouse. So yeah, that's how this code works. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my new video on this. Um, like I said, I think I'll be doing this series about this and explaining things that people ask for. Um, and yeah, take care. Thanks for watching my video. Ha, ha, ha.